morning's mass will be offered for Stephen Broski. <laughs> and so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us hope for better days to come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring us strength in time of trial. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant we pray that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, there is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion, and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and stand trial there on these charges. And when Paul appe appealed that he, had, that he be held in custody, for the emperor's decision, I ordered, ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks God. God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has put our trans transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Be with you. And with your spirit. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to Lord. Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Then feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Well then, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. The Gospel. In English, the, the message of the Gospel doesn't come through loud and clear because the, the word love, as we well know, can have many meanings. And some people use the word as, if, as though it's meaningless. And so, here, even though Jesus is asking three times, do you love me? He's asking three different questions. Love could be just something that I like this. <clears throat> People say, about food, oh, I love that. Or the, about watching a, a movie or something, oh, I love that. Well, that's far from being the true meaning of love. And then we have the word Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. And so, love in that sense means friendship. We're friends. We're bonded. We like each other, work together. That's good. And then the third way is Unconditional love. I love you whether you're sick or old, in need. I will not forget you. Love and marriage should be unconditional. I take you for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. And we know that so many people are failures when it comes to that kind of love. Because in their minds they place all kinds of additions. I will love you if you make me happy, if we're compatible, so on and so forth. There's all kinds of conditions people can place on in a marriage or <clears throat> friendship or whatever the case may be. But Jesus wants us to love him unconditionally as difficult as that may be at times. And we know that when things go wrong, people, some people, fall out of love, even with Jesus. And so the Lord wants us to be reminded, as he did Peter, that love me above all else. And as we know, the two commandments say, Love the Lord your God above all else, and love your neighbor as yourself. Now, if you'll stop, please, we'll have our general <coughs> sessions. As Jesus invites us to follow him, we turn our hearts and minds to the God the Father, and we present our petitions before him. 
that God may bless the church with shepherds after Christ's own heart, who lead his flock with loving care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. That the Lord may inspire leaders in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. That all oppressed by fears and anxieties may be uplifted by the assurance of God's love and compassion for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. That the Holy Spirit may inspire each one of us here to strengthen our belief in His presence and help us to trust in His providence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. That the souls of the faithfully parted, especially Stephen Brodsky, for whom this Mass is being offered, and all of our own deceased loved ones and parishioners, that all may rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. For our own special intentions, which we now mention in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Almighty Father, please hear and grant these petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the grace and glory of the saints, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our conscience. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he, play, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord of God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Thank holy therefore you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Stephen Brodsky, for whom this Mass is offered. Remember all of our deceased loved ones and parishioners, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have to but I must say the word of my soul shall heal.
O oh God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Say my prayer, the Lord, in our protection against the wickedness of the sinners of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into the hell of Satan, and all the evil spirits who rob out the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you.